Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to edit the EU4 map and add your own provinces. So first step is we're going to want to go into our documents folder, go to Paradox Interactive, Europa Universalis 4, go to Mod, and we're going to need to create a new folder. For the sake of this video, I'll just name it EU4 Testing. So now we're going to go into the folder. We're going to create four new folders. First one being common. The next one being history. Then localization, spelled how I spell it. And last one being map. Alright, so for the common folder, what we're going to want to do is go into our Steam directory. Go to the EU4 directory. Click on common, and we're going to scroll down until we see the folder named trade nodes. We're going to copy this folder. We're going to go back to our mod. And we're going to go into the common folder and paste it. After that's done, we're going to head into the history folder and we're going to create a new folder. And this time we're going to name it provinces. And that'll be all for that folder. Next, for localization, we're going to need to go into our Steam directory once again. This time you're going to want to go into the localization folder. Scroll down until you see the file that is called prov names and for the sake of this video we're only going to do the English ones so we're just going to go back into the modded folder again and we're going to paste it in localization and for the map folder we're going to go back to our steam directory and we're going to go into the map folder here and we're only going to need a specific set of files. So we're going to need area, climate, continent, default, definition, positions, region, and most importantly, the provinces.bmp file, and terrain for a total of nine. We're going to copy these. We're going to go back to our mod folder. And we're going to paste it into the folder. So everything's set up. And now the first thing to do to start editing our map file. So we're going to right click and click edit and a big map is going to open up and for the sake of this video we will edit a place in Spain so to start off we're going to open up whatever browser you use and go to this website called Europa Universalis 4 Provinces Color Picker and what this basically does is it generates a color for you to use if you're trying to create a new province that isn't being used already so we're going to click generate new color we're going to use this color 62986 okay now we're going to take our pencil tool here and we will split this province right here in half And now let's fill in this side with the paint bucket. So this right here will be our new province. And this one right here will be the old province. Alright, so now that we've added the color to the map, we're going to open up our map folder again. And we're going to go right click on definition and edit with notepad++. If you don't have notepad++, I highly recommend it as it's way easier than just editing it with normal notepad and you're less prone to make a mistake. So once it opens, we're going to scroll down, all the way down, and we're going to start off 
from where they left off. So we're going to do semicolon x. And now we're going to type out 4393 three, semicolon. And now these values right here would be the colors that we use, the R, G, and the B. So we're going to go back and we're going to see what colors we used. 62986, so we'd type that in that order. Okay. And now finally the province name, which for the sake of this video, I will call test. Okay. And now let's save that. Alright, the next step, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on default.map and edit with notepad++. And the only thing in this one that we're going to edit is the max provinces. You always want this to be set one higher than how much provinces are in the game. Next, we're going to go back and we will right click on continent edit with notepad++ and we're gonna find Iberia here we go Iberia and they keep it very nice and organized so we're just gonna start off from the last line they left off in Iberia since the added province is in Iberia we're gonna type in 4393 we're gonna save it then open up the area text file and we're gonna find out what area our province belongs to. An easy way to do this is to just open up the province ID map, which you can look up. I'll leave it in the description, a link. And we're going to go zoom in on Iberia, and we can find the province right here, 2751. That's the one we split in half, and we'll basically use the same properties since it's from that province. So we're going to go back into Notepad++. We're going to press Control F and we're going to type in 2751. Find next. This province is in the Toledo area, so we'll add in our value 4393 and save that as well. Alright, so now we're going to go into Climate. And we're also going to edit this with Notepad. And we'll just do the same thing since the province is right next to each other. We'll just look up the value. And if it says that it can't find it, then we don't have to do anything because these climates are morally for those that are more extreme, such as the winters. Since ours is in Iberia, there probably won't be any winter in the province. So that's why we won't have to add into climate. And we can move on to the next step. Go into the terrain folder, edit with Notepad++, and we're going to do the same thing. Control F, two, seven, five, one, and you can't find anything, so we don't have to do anything again, unless you want to add a custom terrain to it. So since the ours is in Iberia, it's probably going to be hilly. So we can just scroll down till we see the terrain type of hills right here. We'll just go to the list and it doesn't matter where you put the list in here but since right here it says hashtag Iberia we'll put it into this list so we'll put 4393 again and we'll save it. So we'll have to go to the EU4 testing folder go into localization and we're gonna have to edit prov names English. So now we're going to scroll down all the way. And it's going to go until we see Prov 4392 because that's the last province. But since we're adding one, we're going to continue from where it left off. So now we're going to type in Prov 4393 colon zero space quote now the name of our province. So we have test, so we'll put in test, and we'll save it. Okay, so now we go back, and we're going to need to create a history file in the history folder. But to do this, remember we split our province from another province that was already in the game. So we can use the exact same history file that that province already has. So we'll go into the Steam directory, go to Europa Universalis 4. Go into history, provinces, 
and here we can just search for the province ID that we had before and find the text file for that province. We can copy that, go to Documents, Paradox Interactive, EU4, Mod, EU4 Testing, History, Provinces, and paste it right in here. And we're going to have to change the name of it. So we'll name it 4393, the province ID of our new province, and the name to test. Right click it, edit with notepad, and for organi organization reasons, we're going to rename the top part after the hashtag to test owner cast Castile. We'll just leave everything as is. You can edit the base tax function so we can also make it 10, 10, and 10. Trade goods, we can make it gold. The capital for this sake of the video, we'll name to it works. Is city yes? And this right here you can remove because this is for only the other province that we took it from. So we don't want this happening in our own province. Then simply just save it. Go back to the file explorer. We're going to want to right click and create a new text document. And we're going to need to rename this to descriptor, exactly how I type it. And to uh, see the ending here, if you can't see the ending already, all you simply have to do is click view and then file name extensions. So you want to enable this so you can see it. Now, if you edit again, you can edit the extension and we're going to need to change this to MOD mod, enter, and then click yes. And now we're going to want to edit that file with notepad plus plus and what we're going to want to type in is name equal quote now the name of our mod which is eu4 testing close quote then we're going to want to create a new line path equal quote mod slash and this will be the file path for our mod so we're just going to name this the same thing eu4 testing as you can see it already pops up then the last part is you want to type in the supported underscore version equal quote 1.25 point and then asterisk point asterisk close quote basically this will just make sure that the mod doesn't say it's outdated before we start the game so we'll save this and we can go ahead back into the folder. We'll go to mod. And then we're pretty much just going to do the same thing here. Actually, in fact, you can just copy this mod over, this mod file over into mod, paste it, and basically just rename it to whatever you have your folder called. There we go. And we should be ready to head into game and test out to see if our province is there. Open up. EU4. Go to our mods and it should auto check, but if it doesn't, you can see it right here EU4 testing. Click that so it checks. It's not updated anything. And click play. Alright, so the game's opened and I'm going to click single player, zoom into Castile, and there's our province. Test. And to make sure it works, we also have to go in game because there is a tendency for the game to crash when you unpause or when you click the province if you've done something wrong. It works. We click it and the game does not crash, which is good. So everything looks fine. And now the true test to see if it doesn't crash is if we unpause. And it works so everything's going good so we've done everything correctly and now all that's left is to do the positioning of the units that go onto this province because as you can see now I have no idea where he's going because it's a newly added province but if we go on Quenca 
or however you say that prompts, you can see that he won't go to the middle of the province, he'll rather go to where he was going it, when the uh, province was one, with this area here as well. For the step, you're going to want to open up Steam, and you're going to want to use the tool called the Nudge tool. And basically, to get this option, you need to right click on EU4 in Steam, Properties, Set Launch Options, and just basically type in dash nudge. Click OK, close, and play. Alright, so the game loaded up. And you should see this new button right here called Nudge. And if you click that, basically, the whole map of Europe. And if you go down here to our new province and you click it, you can see that our units are somewhere, but I have no idea where. So basically what I'll do is look at these units and we can actually first start fixing these units, right? So say uh, we don't like the city in its current spot, we can move it using WASD or the arrows, but WASD is quicker. So say we want to move it more down south towards the river. Next the unit, want to move it more towards the center. And the unit combat, which we want to try to fit into the prawns. Right. So we see these X and Z uh, values right here. And if you click on the other prawns that we just made, you can see that they're a little off. So, say we want the unit to come this way, so we'll hold A. And wherever he is, his value should be changing. Some, oh, there he is, right here. As you can see, he's moving. So, basically, just want to keep doing this until he is above our test province. There we go. Now we'll go down. And there we go. So now we'll do the city. So we will take it across, wherever it may be. Keep holding A until we can see at what value it is currently. So it should be at 2770 for the X value and 1329 for the Z value. So we'll try to move it to those chords. And here you can actually see it. Which is very good. So when it's right above the test bronze, I'll move it down. As you can see, this uh, little church right here is also where the flag for the bronze will show up. And the last thing that remains is the combat because you can't change the text values you can but it won't do anything we don't have a port trade route is not important to change and trade win is not important to change either so we'll do unit combat we'll basically just take these units and move them above our province again This is probably the longest and most hassling process out of everything when it comes to creating new provinces that you want to add to the game. But either way, here we go, and we've done it. So as you can see, they look fine to me. And now all we have to do is go to our Notepad plus plus, and actually, we want to go to map positions. Want to edit positions, and basically scroll down. Copy the most recent one, 
uh, change the number value right there and also change the value of the uh, hashtag it has no effect but just for organization purposes so here we have the values so put this on this side basically we just need to look at these values right here so we're gonna need to input them so the first one these two are for the unit or for the city so we'll be inputting the values that we see so two six two six two seven six four point five one three zero next would be for the unit these ones right here so we input the unit values two seven six nine point five one three two nine point five next would be for the unit combat oh my bad unit combat values which would be all the way over here at the end right here and uh, we need to change these to two seven seven two one three two eight all right, and now we can file save. All right, and the last thing we need to do, we need to change what the positioning is for this prompt because these units will still be moving towards here. So we wanna just press Control F, find the prompt's name right here, and basically just change the values. So instead of 2772, it will now be 2778. 1312, change the unit values now. Alright, go to unit combat, which will be the last two X and Z values right here. So the first one will be. 777.5 and then 1316.5 then we can save that and it should be ready to go and I'm not sure if it's clicking the save button here has any effect but it's always better to just be safe than sorry and we're basically done so now we can leave nudge we have to restart the game and the positioning should be fixed for the process, so the unit should be going to the correct spots where we just saw. And that's pretty much it. You just have to repeat this exact same process every time when adding a new province. And it can get very hassling sometimes, but it's worth it in the end. Thank you guys for watching.